Let's balance the equation for K2S plus PbNO3 too. This is potassium sulfide and this is lead to nitrate. So we'll use a bit of a trick to make this easier. Let's count the atoms up first and balance the equation. We have two potassium atoms, one sulfur atom, and then one lead atom. And the trick is we have this NO3. This is the nitrate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. It stays together. We have NO3 here and here. So we're going to keep it as just one thing. So we have two of these nitrate ions. And you can use this on any of these double displacement or single displacement reactions that have polyatomic ions that show up on both sides. Saves a lot of time. We have one potassium, one sulfur, one lead, and then just the one nitrate ion. So you can see it's a lot neater to work with. Why don't we balance the potassium atoms first? We could just put a coefficient of two here, one times two. Those are balanced. And then one nitrate times two, that gives us two of those. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So it's helpful if you have this polyatomic ion on both sides, just count it as one thing. If we wanted to put the states in, the reactants are aqueous. They're both soluble in water. We know nitrates here are very soluble, but sulfides in general are insoluble. Lead sulfides insoluble, put a little S there. This is going to be our precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube when these substances react. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for K2S plus PbNO32, potassium sulfide plus lead to nitrate. Thanks for watching.